Hey guys, Dusty Baker at Cross Timbers Bison. Welcome back to the channel. We're gonna do some pasture rotation. We got the big herd up here. Here comes the big fella right there, Big Joe. I know my recent video, we talked about part of our pasture rotation and dealing with the drought and it's just some things you can't control in life. But we've kept them out of one of our paddocks for a long time now, letting it get a lot of recovery time. It still doesn't have a lot of grass because we haven't had rain in a good rain in I don't know two and a half months or so it's been it's been tough here so what we're gonna do is drive down the pasture and I think they'll follow us of course they, they love the cubes and whatnot and so they're hungry for some cubes and then we're gonna let them in to their new paddock let's uh let's get this herd moved bison always have extra chains it's always not least come on Eleanor Just a little side note for some of you new bison people depending on hinges and the type of gates that you have with this type of hinge that's already built on to this one if you can't swing it all the way back see here it's hitting at the top you've got to use something to tie it up and so what we use is another panel So what we do is when you open the gate, if it won't if it won't come all the way up against your H post, we add a corral panel, just something to brace it or a post. You can have a post driven here to tie it to, because if you don't, if you leave these open and don't chain them back to the post or something, Bullseye Dunbar will beat the crap out of this until 
it breaks or comes off the hinge. And some of my welds have been tested by Dunbar, so we've learned. If you keep it tied back against something, they typically won't mess with the gates. Just for a little fun, um, I don't know, fact there, I guess. That's such something that we've learned when you got bulls like Dunbar. Oh, well, we got them moved into this pasture. This is one of our biggest paddocks, actually. So just we're doing the best we can with the drought. It, it is This stuff is dry. And the weeds move in. Still got some Bermuda. I, I cut one strip through there, and it didn't even hardly grow back grass. But um, hopefully they'll be able to forge quite a bit out of here. So anyways, guys, we're getting close to heading to Custer. We'll be at Custer State Park and spending, we're going to spend like a, almost a week in South Dakota. So I'm super pumped about that as time's getting closer. And plus we get to go on a little family vacation together. And uh, it's the first time I guess Brooks has really been anywhere. So like I said before, my last video, we haven't, I've never been to South Dakota. So super pumped to get up there. And I know that's, uh, that's bison country up there. So thank you guys for watching. Guys, stay tuned. For the custer state park roundup it'll be coming pretty soon to you in a couple of videos so thank you guys for watching us if you haven't subscribed to us follow us along hit that subscribe button guys raising these american bison right here in southern oklahoma thank you come on ladies <laughs>